So we have a brand new Ninja series. So we have a new Ninja and a Ninja Ultra. And we have a new Shogun and a Shogun Ultra that we just launched here at IBC. So these four new products, uh, it's part of a new lineup. We're consolidating all the features offered by those products so it's much easier. We've streamlined those features so it's much easier to understand what features you get for each of the products. So the four new products, they're underpinned by a brand new operating system called OS 11. And that's now common across those four new products. And it's very easy to understand that the, the Shogun and the Ninja, they're very similar in performance and capabilities. And the Ninja Ultra and the Shogun Ultra are very similar in capabilities. So the difference between those two products is the Ninja is a five inch screen and the Shogun is a seven inch ultra bright 2000 nit screen. The other major difference between the products is that the Ninja is on its own is an offline product but can very easily be turned into a fully integrated connectivity related product with an Atomos Connect module that goes on the back. Whereas the Shogun has all of that connectivity built right in. So that's the two key differences but once you have the Connect module on the back of the Ninja the features that are offered uh, to our customers are exactly the same. And this means that you can take your device and we can now connect all of our devices to Atomos Cloud Studio. And that's the gateway to lots of other cloud services like streaming, camera to cloud, Atomos Cloud Edit, live production. And the main key feature that now works across all the products is a brand new feature called Remote View. So Remote View is a, a super innovative way of taking up to four camera feeds using Atomos Connect equipment and sending it to four different destinations anywhere in the world. It could be next door, it could be anywhere in the world with overlays, quad split, dual split, picture in picture, adding watermarks or adding overlays. And you can send this low latency video and audio anywhere around the world. So it's like a virtualized quad split rig that you would get on set or in Video Village. That's now virtualized in the cloud. So it's super powerful because not only can you use Atomos equipment as the receive for a remote view session, we can also send directly to an Apple TV, a Mac or an iPad. So you can view a remote view session on anything, an Atomos device or an Apple device. For Camera to Cloud, we now have the opportunity on the Ultra products to have ProRes RAW and Proxy, and not only ProRes RAW, but 4K60 ProRes RAW. So that's a huge enhancement. We've now got additional file naming coming in over HDMI, so we can now record all the original camera file in the camera, and we can record the proxy on the Atomos. We've now got a single 4K upload, so we can now send 4K files, H.265 files up into the cloud. And we've now enhanced our Wi-Fi capabilities, so the Ultra products have Wi-Fi 6E, which is the best of breed Wi-Fi. But we've made sure with OS 11 that it's not just about the cloud connectivity. Uh, we've now unlocked nice new features for OS 11, like we've added some new uh, colorized exposure modes. We've now got EL Zone system, and we've got ARRI false color added now to Atomos false color. We've got some new tools for organization. We've got playback assist, record assist, which now work very nicely with time lapse. So you can now, based on a certain time, a countdown timer or a time of day, trigger the unit to do certain things, whether record or playback sequences. So built in with time lapse, it's a really powerful feature for when you have a camera unattended and a certain event is happening at a certain time, you can now pre-configure that device to be able to trigger into record or playback at that time. There's loads of other features on OS 11, but if you want to go to atomus.com, you can check those out. Mm -hmm.